Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do an elephant fondant topper. Um, right now I am taking out the fondant, pouring Tylo's powder on it, powdered sugar on it. This voiceover, I know it's a little odd, but what can I do? I, I expected my time lapse to be a lot faster and it's not going fast enough. So anyways, um, you roll the fondant out, knead it, K-N-E-A-D, knead it into the Tylos powder and the powder cake. All right, so now that I have kneaded it um, enough where I'm confident that there's enough Tylos powder and powdered sugar in that fondant distributed evenly. Um, I put a little bit of the black gel color and I'm just going to start mushing it around, blending in the gel color to make it a nice gray. And also to your right, you could see my little elephant, like an already made one. I did that like a few days prior to this video and I didn't like the way it turned out. It was my first time making one, but I was glad that I did a practice run because the one that I did this time around came out so much cuter because I learned from my mistakes. So I kept it in front of me though, just to remind me like how I did the shapes because it was all just freestyle. Um, so I just have that there as reference. So right now I'm getting a ball of fondant I'm rolling it around like an oval and then when I see a crevice I just pinch it and I start rolling it just to smooth it out so I ended up smoothing it out and there's the oval and then I'm gonna place it and I'm gonna indent that's supposed to be the back so I'm gonna indent the back of the elephant right to give it a bosom And once I'm satisfied with that, then we'll move on to the arms. So I grabbed some fondant and I rolled it up as you can tell. And when I slice it, I'm going to use where I sliced, that's going to be the base of the elephant's foot since elephant, they have flat feet, right? So I'm gonna start um, pinching the bottom um, like to the to your table, to your mat. And then when you're done pinching the little edges, just start um, rotating, right? Rolling <coughs> rolling the, the arm, making sure that you don't mess up like the pinching that you just did on bottom like making sure, making sure that you don't mess up the foot is what I'm trying to say so just make sure that they're as tall as the body and then when you're satisfied with the height you're gonna cut at an angle you're gonna cut the, the tip of the fondant at an angle so when you place it on the body it's it goes on perfect you'll see so you grab water and you put it on the um, the edges that you just cut and then that's when you place it and you see how it, it pays to cut at an angle <laughs> because now it's it's perfect on the um, the body and then the leftover fondant that you have from slicing those two little pieces I'm making a tail with that so you just roll it out really thin and I want a spiral tail so I'm going to just gently turn it into a little spiral and then I'm just gonna leave it off to the side and work on the legs same thing that I did with the arms I'm gonna do with the legs
So now I'm working on the elephant's head and Tylo's powder hardens up your fondant fairly quickly. So um, I showed you guys like how many crevices was on the ball. So just keep rolling it out, rolling it out. Eventually the crevices do go away and you get a smooth finish. And then you're gonna just, whatever part of the circle that you want to start um, pulling out, you're just gonna pull a, like a little bit of fondant and then just rotate it out. Um, and as you spin the little circle, like the piece that you pulled out of the circle, it's gonna turn into the trunk of your, like that. It's gonna turn into the trunk of your, hor your horse, <laughs> your elephant. So then I take a knife um, so I can make the trunk tip like more flatter and then once you're satisfied with the length of the trunk then you can move on I'm indenting I don't have one of those like fancy tools which I did buy actually the other day but I don't I didn't have the fancy tools at the time you know those little the balls when you're molding animals out of fun and stuff so I just use my pinky to indent the eyes and then I took a knife, which, again, I have the tools now for my next video. I made the smiley face with the knife. So then I took a skewer and I poked right where I did the indentations. I poked a circle and then I kind of swirled it around to make it more, um, man, what is the word? Just make it stand out more. So I took a little bit of white fondant for the eyeballs. I was gonna place it in there and then I realized it was too big so I cut it again made the little eyeballs put it in there and I was like okay no it's still too big <laughs> so I took it out so it just goes to show you you do not need a whole lot of fondant to put the little eyeballs in there So now I take a little toothpick and I fill in the mouth with black gel color to give it some definition. And then I'm gonna go in and do the eyes as well. And then we're going to work on the ears. So keep on watching. Okay, so I am taking my knife and I'm just flattening the ears. I am not cutting them up. So now they're flatter and they don't have like my fingerprints on them when you use your fingers to smush fondant sometimes. All it shows is like the detail of your fingers. So that's why I use the knife. And then you just put water on the ears and then place it on the head. And when I put the head on the body, like it was just awkward holding the ears and the head and so I ended up putting a toothpick because I mean it you got to use a toothpick to hold these together but I just ended up putting the toothpick early with the head on top so I can mess with my ears better and just adjust them where they need to be and then after that I start working on the blue accents um, because the baby shower cake that I did it was gray white and blue
all right i just hopped in real quick because um the reason why i padded the gel color on the mat was because i didn't want too much of the gel on the fondant because it's a tiny piece of fondant you don't need that much so i kind of overdid it with the gel color which is why i put some excess on the mat um and then i did roll it in tylo's powder but honestly you probably don't need to do that because these are just going like on the elephant like little accent pieces you're not making like arms and legs that need to stay put like they're just little circle circular shapes and stuff so yeah that's it And there you have it super cute little baby elephant topper 